The two greatest threats to cantaloupe safety in the harvest phase of production are worker hygiene and equipment sanitation. In the fight against cantaloupe contamination, there is no substitute for safety awareness and frequently repeated training on proper hygiene. Workers must be properly trained and constantly reminded of the high potential for contamination during the harvesting process. We strongly recommend that growers establish a uniform training program with the goal of offering proper health and hygiene education to all returning and new workers. Daily tailgate reminders, while cumbersome, can be very quick and effective when combined with properly designed and accessible facilities. A good training program should discuss the following. Proper hand washing techniques. Proper glove usage if workers use gloves. The importance of using toilet facilities. The availability of free bandages for workers with open cuts or lesions. A clear sick policy that explains to workers that they will not lose their wages for reporting personal illness but that they will be reassigned to other paid tasks that do not involve the handling of food. A good safety program should also take special note of field and harvest sanitation. Make sure that all harvesting equipment is cleaned and sanitized regularly. This will prevent cross-contamination of cantaloupes as well as minimizing animal attraction to harvest equipment. Some melon contact surfaces that are common to the industry may be difficult to clean and even harder to completely sanitize. Harvest operators should be encouraged to review all melon contact surfaces to determine whether changes can be made to improve cleanability. In any case, it is better to do something to minimize the potential for contamination than to do nothing. A strong word of caution, however. In some cases, using water on a melon contact surface meant to remain dry can make things worse. In hard to clean or hard to reach places, water, melon juice and residues and warm air temperatures can combine to create a perfect breeding ground for bacteria. One potential source of contamination is waste leaks or spillage from portable toilets. Facility placement should minimize the chance that any spillage could run into the field or irrigation trench. Use special caution when servicing portable toilets to prevent leaking into the fields. In the case of such leakage, you should have a pre-established plan for waste containment and the disposal of all contaminated goods. Proper packing, storage and transportation practices can reduce the risk of contamination in the post-harvest phase of production. Whether growers use field pack or shed pack techniques, sanitation of transport, packing equipment and cooling operations are crucial in maintaining the integrity of the cantaloupe industry. Remove as much dirt as is practical from harvest containers, trailers, or gondolas between uses. Review whether cleaning and sanitation between each use is practical and economical. Cleaning should be done outside and at a reasonable distance from the packing facility. It is especially important to prevent a cross-connection between clean-out and any water source that is used for post-harvest handling. Clean-out areas should be located away from common worker foot traffic paths or patterns of movement during packing operations. You should also do your best to prevent birds and other small animals from contaminating packing equipment and storage areas. Post-harvest washing has the potential to either increase or decrease the risk of contamination in California cantaloupes. Shed pack facilities range from sleeve operations that simply wash melons and place them in a consumer unit to sophisticated, computer-assisted wash, size, and grade packing facilities. A well-designed and operated packing facility may contribute to the reduction of contamination risks. Shed pack facilities that are poorly designed or unevenly managed may increase the risk of cross-contamination and the potential to create harmful levels of pathogens. Unfortunately, the available data suggests that this situation is not uncommon in the United States. Detection of salmonella has been confirmed in shed pack operations outside of California. However, no known cases of illness have been reported from these sites. When designing the layout of a sleeving operation or a multi-channel packing facility, handlers should ensure that product flow in their operation is always linear. Incoming cantaloupes should not cross paths or be stored next to cantaloupes that have already been cleaned or processed. Ideally, Packing areas should be physically separated from receiving and processing areas. Worker traffic flow should not move between the two areas. 
Catwalks or engineering and maintenance access platforms should be designed to prevent any contamination from workers' shoes falling onto melon contact surfaces. Shed packers using water cleaning systems must be careful that their methods do not unwittingly spread contamination. Because the exterior of the cantaloupe is more difficult to clean than the smooth, waxy melons such as honeydew and watermelon, mechanical cleaning with brushes in combination with an approved antimicrobial agent is essential before the rind is cut and removed. Proper levels of water disinfectant also help minimize the potential for contamination of brushes and rollers. Whether packed in the field or in the shed, the next step of production is transportation. Before shipping, handlers or packers should inspect transportation vehicles to make sure that any unwanted odors and debris won't impact the quality or safety of your product. Packers and transporters must be made aware of the potential risk of cross-contamination and be educated in prevention techniques. In order to maintain California's already high reputation for quality cantaloupes and melons, growers must take proactive measures to stay on the cutting edge of food safety education and technologies. Growers and packers should continue to work towards a standardized food safety program today in order to ensure a bright future for the cantaloupe industry tomorrow. For more information, contact the California Cantaloupe Advisory Board California Mellon Research Board, or for technical questions, visit ucfoodsafety.ucdavis.edu.